Okay, so like these videos always start off as I watched like five seconds of this video and immediately got triggered. So I figured it would be worth it to do a response to it. Uh, so let's just play. So are we just going to sit here and pretend that Ezra Miller having a job while Jonathan Majors getting fired is an absolute proof that Hollywood is still racist? <clears throat> okay, so to be clear, we have no idea if Ezra Miller still has a job. Okay? As of right now, Warner Brothers has not hired Ezra Miller on to come back as The Flash in any project. And we'll, we'll see what her perspective is, but a lot of people seem to think that because The Flash is still coming out, that Ezra Miller still is The Flash. That's not true. The Flash was filmed before Ezra Miller went on his GTA roleplay in Hawaii. As of right now, Ezra Miller has not been hired on to come back as The Flash. So, it's just not true. Okay, that's all I've seen. <laughs> Let's play. Hi, y'all. Snarky J Cosplay here. I want to give a hot take in this give video, it to me. which is so rare for this channel, right? Of course, everybody and their mother knows that Jonathan Majors basically is being accused of domestic violence. If you've been living under a rock, Jonathan Majors is <laughs> basically. the antagonist of Creed 3, and he's also the big Thanos level threat brought up in Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and he's supposed to be the big bad for Marvel's next phase of film. Films. He's sort of in his up and coming stage right now. The perfectly imperfect time for him to be wrapped up in what he's wrapped up in right now. Allegations of domestic violence put up against him by his current girl. Yeah, that man, that that really is true. Jonathan Majors, like if you if you looked up the word winning in the dictionary, you would have seen a picture of Jonathan Majors like a couple months ago. Dude was in like Creed 3. He's doing probably he's doing like Oscar bait performances and magazine dreams. He's pretty much the star of Marvel phases four, five, and six. My man was winning, <laughs> and then yeah, all of this happened. Girlfriend. So what has that done for Jonathan Major's career? Well, he actually just got let go by his manager and agency, so he's currently not in a great spot. He's also been dropped from a number of different films that he was set to star and co-star in. He was dropped from ad campaigns that he was a major part of. Fact of the matter is, Guy's career isn't looking too good. And before I really get into my point here, I want to go ahead and say that I don't think there's any place for domestic abusers in Hollywood. There's no place for them at my table. In fact, the only- Wow. What an incredibly bold statement to make. You know what, Miss Snarky J? I- I salute you. For saying the things that no one else dares say. Clap- Claps for I was I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's fine for her to make that <laughs> for her to make that clarification. The place I think domestic abusers should be is behind bars. However, I've noticed this. Hollywood wow. has very interesting standards about who it is that's allowed to be a domestic abusing piece of sh versus who isn't. Okay, now, well, what's your example going to be? In terms of this whole Jonathan Major situation, one camp is of the opinion that it's absolutely insane that he's been fired from as many projects as he's been fired from, dropped by his management, etc., all over allegations that he hasn't even been to court for. The other camp points out that it's really weird. So, here's my thing. I and I, honestly, I've been wrestling with this. I'm like At what I don't know, it's like, because I can kind of understand the perspective that, well, listen, we, we feel for you, Jonathan, but listen, we're trying to run a business here. This is your problem. This isn't really our problem. So we're just going to distance ourselves from you while you figure your shit out. Because, I mean, because uh, I, I know, I think it was with, like, some of those projects, or not not projects, but I think, like, he was a part of, like, a couple of, like, societies or whatever. 
um, a couple of he was a part of some groups that he himself walked away from while he deals with some of the, that stuff. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what what that was, but like, I, I I guess what I'm saying is like, I can kind of understand maybe the perspective of of you know Jonathan Majors, uh, you know all these projects and like the army being like, hey, listen, maybe you are maybe you're innocent of all of this maybe that's the case but for now we're not gonna have you in our commercials because we just this isn't our problem and i can kind of understand that perspective um because yeah again it should be noted that he still they, they still have to go to court they still have to deal with all with with, with all of these legal shenanigans and he still has to either be um you know be proven guilty or not be proven guilty but yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of don't know how I feel as far as like, is it like okay for these different projects to drop him in the meantime? I don't know, man. That, that's, that's, that's a rough one. Cause it's, I guess like morally, maybe, maybe I fall on the side of, well, don't do anything rash until stuff gets proven or not proven. But at the same time, especially like with the army, for example, it's like, I understand the army pulling his ads because it's not their problem to figure it, to wait until they, they figure it out, you know? Um, so I don't know. Weird that Disney has been completely silent about it. Of course, Disney seems to be really hell bent on keeping drama and controversy out of their little arsenal of actors. After all, Gina Carano posted tweets that Gina were Caramello. unpopular and controversial on Twitter, and she got fired just for tweeting. Johnny Depp had allegations raised against him by his former wife Amber Heard, and before they had even been to court, Depp had been dropped from any and all future pirates. Of the Caribbean project. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't, I don't, I don't remember that part. Okay, hold up. First of all, with the whole Gina Caramello thing, what actually happened there was Disney was like, listen, Gina Caramello, we don't want to be involved in your weird political stuff, okay? So can you like chill out comparing the plight of, of your average Republican to Jews during the Holocaust? And Gina Caramello was like, yeah, okay, fine, I'll chill out. And then she basically just, like, continued doing it. And and I could be misremembering some stuff. But basically, it was just one of those things where it's like, Gina, we don't, we, we don't, want, we don't want to deal with your political shit. And, hey, Gina Caramello, she made, she made the decision of, like, hey, listen, I want to, I have the right to make weird uh, to make a bunch of weird Holocaust comparisons, compare myself to a Jew during the Holocaust. I want to have my political opinions. And hey, you know what? More power to her if that's the decision that she wanted to make. But that's like, they, they didn't drop her just because she made a tweet. They dropped her because she didn't want to like comply with those rules. And by the way, this is a thing that plenty of employers do. Okay. Player, uh, like players in like in the NFL and stuff like that. And like basketball players, they also have heavy regulations on your on their social media. I guarantee you that, like, if your employer, just your regular employer, like, caught wind of your social media where you're out there making comparisons to, like, I don't know, like, your... <laughs> to, like, your job and saying that your job was as, uh, was as harrowing as what the Jews suffered in the Holocaust, I guarantee you that your employer probably wouldn't, wouldn't be too happy about that either. So this isn't even like a, a Disney being like, oh, the woke ideology is blah, 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 seeping through the blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, if you're, there are limits to what you can say as far as how the people around you associate with you. You know, you may have freedom of speech, but you don't have freedom of association. Um, so yeah, I, I, I the, the whole Gina Carano thing. And by, by the way, you know what the other interesting thing about the Gina Carano thing was? A, a lot of people are like, Duh, you fired Gio Corrado, but Pedro Pascal was vocal on social media too. Hey, did you notice that after all of this happened, Pedro Pascal got a lot less vocal about his political opinions on social media? It seems like Pedro, Pas Pedro Pascal took the, I'm just going to shut the fuck up about 
about my controversial political opinions pill and still got to work with Disney. So, like, I don't know. Like, my, my point here is, is that the whole Gina Carano thing is not, like, really... Uh, it's not it's not really a thing it's not it's not really a factor here now the johnny depp thing is yeah if he got fired before the court date before the court case that is kind of fucked up but i don't did he get fired before or after the before or after like the um the 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 court case in england cuz the thing about the uh, 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 about the johnny depp case that people forget is that at least when it came to, comes to Warner Brothers and Fantastic Beasts, he only got fired after he was found guilty um, in a court case in the UK. So before that, Warner Brothers at least, they were kind of just like leaving the whole thing to be like sort of a he said, she said situation between him and Amber Heard. But... Um, but then once a court ruled, like a court just straight up ruled that, nah, bro, what was written, because because um Johnny Depp he he tried suing a, a British publication, and the court ruled, nah, bro, you you that you did what they accused you of, and I don't remember exactly the specifics of what of what the that magazine had uh had accused him of. The court was like, nah, nah, you did what you did, um. Only after a court ruling happened did Warner Brothers fire. But to be fair, I don't remember if Disney did before or after. ...and Jack Sparrow was no more. So Disney seems like the kind of company that's real mouse magical and really clear cut on what they're gonna allow from their actors, right? Well, at the end of the day, they're really not. So I'm not surprised that they haven't done anything about Jonathan Majors. Why? Well, in 2004, actor Josh Brolin, who portrays Thanos in the event- Are we going all the way back to 2004? <laughs> what? series he was arrested for domestic violence against his then wife diane lane granted that was in 2004 but it was a big stain on the actor's reputation and yet disney was more than willing to it was back in 2004 i mean I... Uh... what are you gonna you really think it's impossible that like yeah that's like that wasn't back in 2004. I'm not this. I don't know. I don't. That's that's a weird. That's a higher. Like yeah. Um. Didn't like uh. What's the fucking guy's name? Um. Mark Wahlberg. Like didn't he beat a guy? <laughs> beat like. They, didn't he have like a racial racially motivated attack on like a Vietnamese dude in a bar when he was younger? <laughs> but you know nowadays it's like okay. Well I'm sure he feels bad about it but it was like a really long time ago um i don't know it's like you're like all the way back to 2004 <laughs> him so naturally it's inconvenient for disney to have to make a statement about jonathan Mayer. also so wait was was josh brolin just arrested or was he convicted also that that's a that i'd like to know that and again like if josh brolin was convicted Jonathan Majors hasn't been convicted. <laughs> so what, so what, what are you talking about? Majors, especially because he's just been established as the big bad for this next phase of Marvel moneymakers. What I find even more egregious, though, is that people like Josh Brolin and other famous domestic abusers and famous assholes are... Okay, sure. So she's, she's saying that he was convicted. Okay still getting their bag while Jonathan Majors is effectively being chased out of Hollywood. What am I talking about? Well, Josh Brolin has had no shortage of work after 2004. Emma Roberts, for instance, is another famous Hollywood domestic abuser. Years ago, she was actually charged with domestic abuse against her also famous then boyfriend, Evan Peters. She supposedly bit him, made him bleed, and had a series of domestic violence charges raised against her. And yet she she is still getting roles, she's still been in a bunch of movies, and she's still considered one of those manic pixie dream girls in Hollywood. That's, I mean, yeah, that's fair, but also it's like... But the, so, okay, so the other thing that I kind of take issue with with this narrative is that they're basically, like, lumping Hollywood into one thing. It's like, 
like, yeah, different organizations and different people in Hollywood are going to handle situations differently. So, it, it yeah, it's like it's like it's one of those things where it's like it'd be like if um it, it would be like if uh. I don't know. You have person A and person B. Person B took your took your apples, right? And then, uh, what what is this? What is this metaphor? I'm losing my mind. Okay, there's person A, person B, and person C. Person A took your apples, right? Person B said, "I'm not gonna associate with, I'm not gonna associate with that with the guy who took your apples." And then person C was like, well, I mean, they took your apples, but I'm still going to associate with them. It's like, you can't call them both hypocrites because they're both doing their own thing. It's like, I don't, uh, I, it's like, okay, so yeah, a bunch of like, maybe some people are working with Emma Roberts. Is it the same people that are no longer working with Jonathan Majors? Is it the same people that fired Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean? It's like, these are all, like, different actors. So, this whole, like, framing of, like, Hollywood is hypocritical, it's just weird because Hollywood is not a cohesive organization. It's all a bunch of different organizations, yes, handling situations differently. So, it's like, I don't even... I, 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 I just I don't even know what, what point is really being made here. Hollywood. Maybe it's because she's the niece of Hollywood sweetheart Julia Roberts. But either way, it's complete bullshit that this tiny terrorist is still employed while Jonathan Majors is now unemployed. And in case maybe the and Jonathan Majors, he's not he's technically not unemployed because I mean he might be in Marvel movies. <laughs> um, but it's also just like one of those things where it's like, yes, when you get charged with when you get charged with sexual assault, or not sexual assault, but just assault, um, when you get charged with, with a bunch of these things, it's unfortunate, yes, but yeah, your career is probably gonna get put on halt. <laughs> it's gonna get put on pause. I mean, like, I'm, like it's really unfortunate because maybe you're, maybe you're innocent and whatever, but yeah, people are gonna be like, okay, hold up. We're gonna let you deal with your shit but until then, yeah, we're not going to cast you in our movie. I'm sorry, it's unfortunate, but that is a reasonable thing to do. These examples that I've raised seem too far back and too irrelevant. Let's talk about my good buddy, Ezra f***ing Miller. Let's talk about the fact- Yeah, the, okay, the, the whole Ezra Miller thing, she, I, she does not have any leg to stand on. I, I admittedly, I'm not super familiar with the Eber Roberts thing and the Josh Brolin thing, but like- Ezra Miller is in the literal exact same position as Jonathan Majors where he's not getting cast on anything. That Ezra Miller is a person who literally has timelines of the awful things that he has done to other people and been like charged with. In April of 2020, here he is literally choking a woman outside of a bar. Oh, you March know what? Fair enough. Actually, fair enough. I forgot about that. Okay. That is true. That is true. D oh, no. She, she, she pulled out the trap card. That is so true. That video of Ezra Miller choking that girl. That came out, I want to say, before The Flash was filmed. Dang. Yeah, yeah. That came out before The Flash was filmed. So, if you're going to make a criticism of Warner Brothers, there was video of it. There was video of him assaulting a girl. They brushed it under the rug. <laughs> and then they still put him in The Flash. And then Ezra Miller went out and did the shit in Hawaii. Bro, I think that's true. Still, I still think it's weird to paint Hollywood as one mono one homogenous thing. But she ain't she. Ooh, okay, hold on. Hold up. Let her cook. In 2022, he was charged with disorderly conduct and harassment because apparently he lost his sh in a karaoke bar in Hawaii and started using derogatory language. I hold can up. only Let me, assume what that hold means. Hold up. I, I, I should probably look this up. Hold on. 
Uh, um, the Flash filming uh, dates. So I, I don't want to know about the TV show. The Flash movie filming dates. The film's release was pushed back to November 4th of 2022 by further pandemic-related delays. And filming was set to be... Oh, wait, shit. It was set to begin in March 2021 in London. Warner Brothers had ridden Cyborg out of the film. Wait. The filming on The Flash began on, okay, April 19th of 2021. Oh. Oh, wait, no, but when did the, when, when did the, on March 28th. Hold up, when did the, when did the choking incident happen? Ezra Miller choking. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, yeah, this happened in 2020. Right? Yes, this happened in 2020. All right, all right, she's cooking. Let her cook. Let her cook. Means. And he was arrested for that. In March 2022, not one, but two people filed restraining orders against him for being a lunatic. Just a month later, in April of 2022, Ezra Miller was arrested on a second degree assault charge. In June of 2022, Ezra Miller was accused of grooming and grooming minors at that. And if that wasn't enough, in August of 2022, he was accused of burglary. Ezra Miller has literally been on a GTA 5 star. Hey! Campaign you stole my joke. Lunacy, harassment, and hey, Snarky J. Still employed. He's How still dare you? Okay, no. Okay, hold up, hold up. Hold on, I got. Hold on, let me. Coming out in let me go Ezra months. Miller on these guys, and, these and then I'll explain why she's wrong on that point. This hold up. He said, she said. This is literally stuff that there is evidence against him for. He has been charged. He's been to court, and yet his management hasn't dropped him. He hasn't been fired from anything, and they're still releasing the Flash, which he's gonna make money from and yet okay hold up 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 i want to listen to a lot of that because i was kind of again ezra miller ezra miller has not been hired onto anything since any project since you know what Fair, you know what? Let, 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 i'm gonna do a little bit of research here okay let me see ezra miller imdb does he have any upcoming projects Uh, okay, here. Um, does he? What? A, how do you use IMDb? I don't even know. What the fucking? God, IMDb confuses me. Hold up. Let me, let me just pull up. Ezra Miller Wikipedia. I'm not editing any of this out. Shut up. Um Okay. Literally the only upcoming projects he has is the Flash. Okay? The only upcoming project he has is the flash he's not going to be fired from it because and hey listen i will she she cooked a little bit she cooked a little bit the choking incident did happen before the flash straight up they should have fired him because of that straight straight up i will, I will give that i will give that to her they should have fired him uh because of that choking incident he, he, he assaulted that girl he did he did they should have fired him they should have recasted him i agree but the GTA Rampage happened before or after he filmed The Flash. So, for him to have been fired from it, it wouldn't have worked because A, they would have had to pay him anyways. B, they would have just had to like reshoot the movie and spend like another $200 million filming it. So, just so, just so we're clear, 
Because, like, when we're talking about being fired or hired in terms of actors, actors are more like contractors. Ezra Miller was contracted to act in The Flash. He did that. Then he went on his GTA Rampage. Should he have not been contracted because of the choking incident? Yes, 100%. You cooked a little bit there, Snarky J. I, you cooked. You cooked. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you you didn't cook because you cooked. And it smelled, it smelled pretty good. But the GTA roleplay happened after he filmed The Flash. After he already did his work. So it's like he couldn't have even really been fired from that. And you're kind of asking them to spend like another $200 million dollars just to like redo the movie it's it's kind of a lot to ask <laughs> like i i know we like to think that oh these big movie studios they have so much money they can do whatever they want they, 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 not, not necessarily so there's that just so you're aware uh jonathan majors still has the loki season two coming out he's still in loki season two he is literally in the same exact position that Ezra Miller is in. Ezra Miller has not been hired on to do any more any more projects. Jonathan Majors has not been hired on to do any more projects. The projects that they already filmed prior to their, you know, big messy sussy baka events happening. Yeah, those projects are still coming. Those projects are still coming out, but it's only because it would be ridiculously expensive to redo them. So, your little narrative here it's not working you know you were cooking it smelled pretty good but you went a little bit too far with the seasoning snarky j you know you you, you went a little bit too far but okay let's let's <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> Literally been on a GTA 5 star campaign of violence, lunacy, harassment, and assault. And he's True. still employed. He's, he's not still employed. He's not employed. Super employed. Like to the point that he's got a summer blockbuster coming out in just a few months. Jonathan and Majors technically. Okay, hold on. Wait. I, okay, hold on. Let me actually clarify. I guess Ezra Miller's management hasn't dropped him yet. That is kind of weird. But. In the sense of what their projects are, yeah. Ezra Miller still has a blockbuster coming out. Jonathan Majors still has a major, still has a major uh, event Disney Plus series coming out. Okay, so let's just your 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 argument here is a little a little, a little flimsy. And these aren't just allegations. This isn't he said, she said. This is literally stuff that there is evidence against him for. He has been charged, he's been to court, and yet his management hasn't dropped him. He hasn't been fired from anything, and they're still releasing The Flash, which he's gonna make money from. And yet Jonathan Majors, who has had- Ezra Miller already has made money. Well, I guess I don't know. Well, I guess, does Ezra Miller have like a, like a, um, I, okay, I have no idea what Ezra Miller's contract is. Um, I don't know if... I have no idea if he's being paid by, like... If he's just being paid a flat rate. Or if he has, like, box office deals as well. Dude, okay, you know, uh, to be fair, I don't I don't know what, 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 this, what the status is there. One major allegation raised against him <laughs> is fired. There's a few key no, differences. No, okay, no, he has... Uh, there have been multiple... Actually, so just so we're clear, there have been multiple women that have come out against Jonathan Majors. We don't know what all of their allegations are, but there have been multiple women that have come out and are working with the DA's office. So just so we're clear about that. ...in the cases and looks of these two people. But the most obvious one is the fact that Jonathan Majors is a person of color and Ezra Miller is not. I don't know what series of clubs or groups or... <laughs> Wait, okay. Go. What is... What is this, like... <laughs> Do people play, like, these weird... Weird games where it's like... Uh, it's like... To some people, it's like... Oh, uh... Ezra Miller because he's like bi or whatever these are the arguments that i've seen hold on let me reset my camera um i've seen like some people try to say that because hollywood is woke or whatever uh ezra miller because he's like bi or bisexual or whatever and he has like they pronouns or whatever the fuck 
Well, because Hollywood is woke, uh, <laughs> Hollywood is woke, they're giving Ezra Miller a special treatment. And apparently, no, being black is no longer enough. Now it's the they thems that are whatever. And then now Snarky J is putting forth the argument that because Ezra Miller is white, Hollywood is racist against the black people. Like, can we can we calm down? Can we can we just acknowledge <laughs> that different companies are going to do different things? Does it make them hypocritical? <laughs> you can talk about like one specific company and how they handled one situation versus another, and they are probably certain com certain specific companies probably undoubtedly are hypocritical on certain fronts. But like we can't talk, we can't make these wild comparisons between different studios to try to find hypocrisies is what i'm saying whatever it is that ezra miller is part of that basically makes him exempt from having to follow the law he's or not even exempt the rules of basic human decency or how to behave in society but apparently he and that pouty face are above the law and jonathan majors is not jonathan majors got caught up in these allegations which i personally cannot confirm or deny their truth all i'm saying is the fact that there is a double standard some people get fired by disney because they're seen as disposable and they're disposed of very quickly. But if you're set to be the next major star, they will keep you because you are a cash cow that they must milk. Hollywood sees domestic abuse from a person of color and you are- in Oh, okay. So she's like, so she singles out Disney. That's good. But now she's going, talking about the rest of Hollywood. So it's like, is, Holly, is all of Hollywood- Okay, I think, okay, I think if her final statement is that Hollywood is kind, or that Disney is kind of hypocritical, I don't know that I would agree, because again, I don't personally see the Gina Caramello situation, um, to me it's a completely different situation, it's just like, it's Disney, D Disney just didn't want the con, didn't want to deal with the controversy of all of her wacky political opinions and so they were like hey can you chill out uh and gina caramella was like no actually i really need to compare my plight <laughs> to jews during the holocaust it's a thing that i kind of have to do so i mean i don't know it was it was fair for disney to be like hey listen uh we respect that but we just don't want to deal with it um and again n notice how pedro pascal also stop he stopped he stopped being wacky with his controversial political takes he did that as well it wasn't just gina carano for being white right wing so just don't don't forget that don't forget it um but to me it's just it's a completely different situation from the jonathan major situation now and again and and again it's like you can't you can't compare the J disney and jonathan majors you can't compare that to Ezra Miller because Disney didn't have Ezra Miller employed. So it's weird because it's like sometimes she, she does the correct thing in analyzing like a specific studio and how they manage things. But then, at, but then in other situations, she'll like compare how two different studios manage things to try to draw hypocrisy when it's like that just doesn't make sense immediately fired but if you're a cute little white girl a middle-aged white man or somebody that checks any number of boxes for you, you and, get but again it's like is emma is emma no not emma watson emma roberts has she are the movies that she makes are they made by like disney and and warner brothers are those movies that are like are those decisions that you can directly compare to how they handled johnny depp or uh, or Ezra Miller or whatever, or Jonathan Majors. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And again, I just, this, re this, this really needs to be clarified. You can't bring up Ezra Miller's pouty phase or whatever, because as of right now, I don't think he has a job. Like, like my prediction is that there's no way in hell that they bring him back as the Flash, <laughs> you know? Like that that's just me. But uh but okay.
stay employed. I guess the lesson here is that if you want to be a successful domestic abuser in Hollywood, you just can't be a person of color. And if you want to maybe get away with it, work for Disney as one of their major stars, and they might just sweep everything under the rug to keep you. And that's all for me. I. Okay. So, I mean, listen. I think me and Snarky J, we can agree on one thing here, for sure. That is that domestic abuse is cringe. That is a cringe thing to do. If you domestically abuse somebody, you are in fact cringe. Me and Snarky J, we agree. Now, we probably agree, well, I can at least see where she's coming from on some of things that she talks about where it's like I mean I, again I don't know the, the particulars of the Josh Brolin scenario but I mean if it was like really really bad domestic abuse oh Jesus Christ what am I saying like I don't know like oh fuck what, <laughs> what am I saying here okay all domestic abuse is bad um but if it was like a really long time ago and like he didn't like hospitalize her it's like eh, I don't like at what point is it like okay to hire somebody again I, to me when it if it's like a really long time ago i just like i don't know i might i might even land on maybe you just maybe he should just be barred from hollywood forever i mean I, that, that's a really tough question but it's like can you really compare those things to like can you really compare that to how they're handling something like today in the in the presence in the present as it is happening I don't know if you can really do that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That, that's a that's a really rough question. I, fuck, I don't know. Um. So, but I I can see where she's coming from on that front. Um. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, so I mean, like, I can see where she's coming from on a lot of these like individual case cases. But, yeah, I think where she really starts to lose me is when she just, like, tries to pretend like Ezra Miller isn't facing consequences for his actions when he very clearly is. <laughs> um, uh, like, he's not, he has not been hired to do any more projects since the GTA Rampage happened. Um, and this is my prediction. I don't think he's going to come back as The Flash. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a it's a bit of a mixed video for me. I can see where she's coming from on a lot of it. I just think she goes a bit too far, um, in some areas. So I don't know. Did I miss anything? Um, or do you have anything you just generally disagree with me about? Oh wait, hold on. I didn't even finish the video. <laughs> hold up. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on the Jonathan Majors controversy in the comments below. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you think that I I missed something she said or if I misconstrued something. Um, also, let me know what your thoughts are just in general on all of these situations. If you have any information on the Josh Brolin thing or the Johnny Depp thing um, that I may have gotten wrong. Because uh, the, the timelines are for sure um, a bit messy, for sure, in my mind. Because, <laughs> uh, cause, yeah... Um, but yeah, I guess in general, I think if I guess if I have just one thing that I just plead people to do is try to take each individual studio and compare like what individual studios do in these situations. It's the term like Hollywood is hypocritical. To me, it's just a bit of a vacuous statement because of how many different studios and and parties are involved in these in these scenarios and obviously they're not all going to act in unison so i don't know that, that's how that's how i see it but uh yeah let me know what you think comments below and goodbye